On today's podcast, we're going to be answering the question, do you reward safety? So stay tuned. Welcome to Warehouse Safety Tips. If you're a seasoned vodcast viewer, this vodcast is going to be different from most that you watch. It's based around exactly what the name implies, Warehouse Safety Tips. And since the people in this industry are busy, we know that time is money, so each episode will be as short and to the point as possible. And now, with all that out of the way, let's get to the vodcast. Have you ever read a book or watched a movie where a bunch of puzzle pieces come together and provide a big reveal? Chances are you have, and although I've spent a great deal of time in the tech world, in my younger days, I spent a lot of time in factories and warehouses. Safety and the implementation of it were a huge part of my job. Now, in addition to safety, I learned about ISO, OSHA, Six Sigma, 5S methodology, lean manufacturing, and I found out from several pictures of my mom holding money bouquets as prizes that she had won several winning safety slogan contests. Now, in doing so, I realized that I've been around safety a lot longer than I thought. I remember sitting around the kitchen table as a kid and helping her create and pick what we thought would be a good submission. Now, this brought me to the question of the podcast, do you reward safety? Most employees don't take their jobs home with them, or at least they don't want to. But what if there's an incentive? When that happens, things change. Now, are you doing things at your facility that make your staff feel involved with their safety program? If so, great. If not, why? One of my mom's winning slogans was, where safety reigns, there will be gains. Now, that would be printed on huge banners and hung throughout the facility until it was replaced by next year's winner. But can you imagine the pride that my mom must have felt looking up and seeing her winning submission each day? And how true was the meaning, where safety reigns, there will be gains. It's a mindset that as safety-minded professionals and individuals, we should embrace. It doesn't have to be a contest, but find a way to involve and reward your staff for improved safety, and you're going to find that there will be gains. We look forward to seeing you next week for another Warehouse Safety Tips. Until then, have a great week and stay safe. Before moving on, here's a word from one of our sponsors. If you've ever been to or worked in a warehouse, you know just how important safety is to both management and staff. It's almost impossible to go 10 steps without seeing safety tape, angles, signs, and or safety products. It's these items that show us how to be safe and avoid danger in the workplace. And if you're looking for the best products to make this happen, look no further than Mighty Line. Mighty Line floor signs and floor markings offer the best industrial products out there. We're proud to have Mighty Line as the official floor sign and floor marking company for the Warehouse Safety Tips podcast and site. Go to MightyLineTape.com forward slash safety tips to request a sample pack of their incredible safety signs and floor markings. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Warehouse Safety Tips. If you visit WarehouseSafetyTips.com, you'll find the show notes for this episode and access to all of our blog posts, previous podcasts, advertiser information, and much more. Thank you for listening to Warehouse Safety Tips and have a safe day.